to get to the best, you gotta be able to win. In Jiu Jitsu, you wanna keep ranking up. Today I got a white belt, a blue belt, a purple, a brown, and a black belt for Connor. Very strong, very strong, very powerful, very, very intense. To be able to compete at the same level as a black belt would be huge because they're the best of the best. If he could step on the mat with a black belt and hang, he's very legitimate. We knew he was going to be something because he was born at 10 pounds, four ounces. So he was a big boy to start. As a small kid, he was kind of shy. And it was the sports that really created the personality he has now. The actual football coach suggested wrestling, and it helped him a lot with it in lacrosse, and then he just stuck with it. Started wrestling when I was in seventh grade. Once you get to high school, though, you start going to tournaments. Outstanding Performance Award. I was a freshman going against the old boys on the varsity. Most of the goals are from my senior year when I started dominating. We were number two in the state, so a lot of hard work put into it. A lot of blood, sweat, sometimes tears. You knew the second he walked out on the mat, he knew he was gonna win. It's a competitive edge in everyone. I hate losing more than I like winning. Let's go, kid! Let's go, Connor! And your 220 pound champion. From St. Chinese, Connor Farrell. Connor Farrell. Woo! Young Connor Farrell really hasn't changed much. Big, physical, like throwing people around legally. <laughs> He's got confidence. And that's a lot in a person. Hopefully, with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I enter some tournaments. You get some cool, like, championship belts when you win. I'm gonna throw that on my shoulder, like Connor McGregor. So I've been training Jiu Jitsu 22, 23 years now. Connor is very fast, he's very strong. For his weight, he's very quick. Because he's so used to leveling everybody on the cross field, it makes his Jiu Jitsu very good. Spin, take the back, good. My first year in the league, I was a little bigger than everyone else. I was just throwing my weight around out there. But once I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu after that first year, my hip movement looked better. I was low to the ground, but I had more control. His training really brought him to another level. I see it almost every day because he's such an adaptable athlete. So I think jujitsu is a perfect thing for him and any pro athlete for that matter. Off the field, he's a teddy bear. Hello. <laughs> the warmest, friendliest, best person that we have here. Right? He's always happy, always laughing. He's always joking around. But the second he crosses that line or that mat, totally different person. And when the match is over, he'll pick you up, give you a hug if he has to. That's the difference between Connor and a lot of other kids. My parents always supported me in everything I've done, especially wrestling. They were at every single tournament, 7 a.m. all the way until 8 p.m. at night. So they'd be sitting in the hot gymnasium all day long, waiting for my three or four matches. I wouldn't be where I am without them. See, what we always did when they were young is we always try to sit down as a family to eat. Cook, I clean and set the table. I think that's why we last so long, so many years, you know. In order to be able to stay home and create that environment of love and support, at least one meal a day had to be sat around by all five of us. So we're heading back to Monster Brazilian Jiu Jitsu right now, where we're going to go against a few guys in each class, all different belts. Okay, so today I got a white belt, a blue belt, a purple, a brown, and a black belt for Connor. For someone who doesn't know the sport, it's very challenging. Even just being a white belt, being there for a few months, you already know a lot of stuff. As he starts getting to purple, brown, and black, it'll get more intense. I get, I get nervous for everything. I'm always, I'm nervous before every game, even though I've been playing forever. Once I get out there, after the first second, then I'm good to go.
Oh, he's full-blown four now, Aaron. You're in trouble. Yes, stay on it. Stay on it. Time. 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 Oh, my God. He's very strong. Very strong. Very powerful. Very, very intense. I was cranking on his arm. He just stood up and lifted my entire body in the air. It's not normal. <laughs> it's not normal. third degree black belt. I've been training for many years. I've been training with all sorts of pro athletes and I'd say Connor is one of the best I've ever seen. Good job. Nobody is touching him at that weight, age, and experience level. So maybe even bump him up uh, an experience level for a tournament just to make it fair to the competitors. To get to the best, you gotta be able to win. In Jiu Jitsu, you wanna keep ranking up. When the sensei sees you doing good, that means you're gonna get another stripe on your belt and then you hopefully rank up in the belt. It would mean the world to me to become a black belt and then eventually become one of the best face off guys in the world. He wants to be the best at everything that he does. He's got a good mindset. To see him constantly challenging himself and constantly getting better, and I always say the sky's the limits. Just keep doing you because he's doing it pretty well. Subscribe to the PLL's YouTube channel for more episodes of Way Off the Field.